It is currently January 15th, Monday, and I am finally back to school after a little over a month. I mean, technically my school started on Friday. The first class was on a Friday. Why? I don't know. But it was at 8 a.m. and I had just flew in the day before from Vancouver, so if I had tried to wake up for my 8 a.m. class, I would have had to wake up at like 4.30 Vancouver time. I did not think that I was gonna be capable of doing that. But anyway, that's what the vlog is gonna be about. I'm back to school, back to the grind, and um, yeah. I only have one class today, which is at 11, and it's 9.45, so I kind of have to start getting ready. I don't really think it's a good thing that I'm starting off this year already extremely stressed out. My classes were super mixed up, so today I have my class at 11, but it was supposed to be Spanish. So last night when I was like looking at my schedule, I was like, I feel like if I have a Spanish class tomorrow, it should be there, and it wasn't. So then I looked and yeah, found out that it was not gonna be happening this semester. So then last night I had to look through a bunch of the course catalogs to find a course that I found like interesting, and it took a while because they're all kind of hard courses, so I wasn't really keen on a lot of the courses that were offered. So I took like a few hours like last night trying to figure it out, and eventually I did, and I'm taking like a soci sociology course, which I feel like will be interesting. I don't know. My skin gets so dry in winter. I'm just not super excited about my courses this semester, but I hope they will be okay. I want to pop these pimples so badly, but if I do that, that's not gonna go down well. I'm getting blush. Okay, I'm getting very complaining. I'm excited to be back to school. I'm excited to be back in Toronto and, you know, to once more have a purpose in my life. And honestly, it's, it's fun to get up and get dressed and go somewhere every day. So I did check the weather and it is supposed to be negative 13 with a wind chill of negative 19 today. I don't really know what to wear though. Actually, I was thinking this sweater because it's very warm with these jeans and then I could do this jacket because this jacket's actually very warm and I'd wear another sweater underneath the sweater and then black bag with black shoes. So I changed the pants because the one that I wanted to wear did not match the outfit and then I didn't like it. Like the jean didn't go together. I don't know if I'm gonna be warm enough. I'll update you guys. I hope so. This jacket is quite warm, so I think I'll be fine. I made a little bit of egg. I also had an apple, but I don't really have that much time. I have to leave in two minutes, so I'm just gonna eat up this egg and then get to class. Yeah, fit check. Except I will be wearing shoes. Because I don't wanna go out onto the negative 19 degrees with no shoes on. Probably not the smartest idea. I'm home. I got a few things from the store because, you know, I did. I ran out of maple syrup, so gotta get me some maple syrup. Got some pesto, because I'm gonna make pesto pasta for dinner tonight, and some tzatziki. I'm kinda hungry, so let's make some lunch. Dude, it was actually so cold outside. I could barely walk home in what I was wearing. I was very cold, so I think I have to layer up a little bit more tomorrow. A lunch. Yum. One thing about moving out and living on your own is you have to fix things when they break. So this thing just came undone, so now I have to fix it. Without my trusty screwdriver, fix this. It's actually not that difficult. I just have to screw in a few things. Alright, now we're able to put this baby back in. Hooray. Look at these 
work all the time. Finally! My nail polish chipped, so now I'm going to redo my nails. One of my friends is coming over and we're gonna hang out and do homework. I think I need to get more nail polish because this one is like getting a bit dry. cooking up some dinner. Tonight, we are making pesto pesto with chicken. Yo, yo. Dinner time. <laughs> I was gonna go to the gym and go for a run, but my legs and my glutes and my back are so incredibly sore from when I played soccer last night. So I'm just gonna do a quick ab workout, but I'm not gonna film it because I would literally get very embarrassed and we don't need to see that. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna shower and then go to bed because I'm tired. I have not drank any water today. I should probably do that. Before I go to sleep, I'm just gonna do a bit of homework and I'll probably stay awake till like 11.30. I need to finish this questionnaire that I have to do for one of my classes. Before I go to sleep, I'm gonna make a little bit of chia pudding because I have to wake up at like 8.15 and it's 1 a.m. and I know I'm not gonna be wanting to cook anything and I'm probably gonna try to wake up as late as possible. So having something that I can like, eat really quickly is gonna be very nice. And this is a very straightforward, easy recipe. It takes like literally 30 seconds. I need more chia seeds. It's just um, two tablespoons of chia seeds and then half a cup of milk of your choice. I also like to add maple syrup. Whoa. Uh-oh, something happened in the fridge. I also like to add maple syrup because it makes it taste better. And then when I eat it in the morning, I just have it with, with raspberries. My first day back to school was literally a two-hour class, and then the rest of the day, I did other things. I was supposed to have a marketing class this evening, but I really messed up my course schedule, unfortunately, and now... And now I am, I somewhat screwed myself over. I hope that my teachers add me to all of my classes. They will, they will. I'm hopeful. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog of my first very boring day back to class, back to school. And you know, hopefully I'll be able to keep up with the YouTube throughout this semester, last semester, became a bit difficult. I gave up in many ways. Maybe this semester will be better. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you so, if you feel inclined to do so. But yeah, good night and thank you for watching. <laughs>